Hello friends. In this video we will discuss the surveying subject. We will discuss the most important asked multiple choice questions from surveying subject in all civil engineering competitive exam papers. Welcome to our channel. Civil Engineering Basics. For more videos please subscribe. Civil Engineering Basics. The main principle of surveying is to work from whole to the part. The curvature of the Earth's surface is taken into account only if the extent of survey is more than 260 square kilometer area. Surveys which are carried out to provide a national grid of control for preparation of accurate maps of large areas, are known as geodetic surveys. For locating an inaccessible point which of the following method is used, intersection method is used to locate inaccessible point on ground. Curvature correction in a differential leveling is always subtractive. Greater accuracy in linear measurement is obtained by direct tapping. Greater accuracy in linear measurement is obtained by direct tapping. In geodetic surveys higher accuracy is achieved, if curvature of the Earth's surface is taken into account. In geodetic surveys higher accuracy is achieved, if curvature of the Earth's surface is taken into account. The distance between steps for measuring downhill will decreases with increase of slope. To obtain better accuracy. Systematic errors are those errors whose effects are cumulative and can be eliminated. Systematic errors are those errors whose effects are cumulative and can be eliminated.
a tape of length L, and weight WKG, meter is suspended at its ends with pull of PKG. The SAG correction is, L cube into W square divided by 24 times P square. Chain surveying is well adopted for small areas in open ground. Chain surveying is well adopted for small areas in open ground. The accuracy if measurement in chain surveying, does not depend upon, general layout of the chain lines. The accuracy if measurement in chain surveying, does not depend upon, general layout of the chain lines. If h is the difference in height between endpoints of a chain of length L, the slope correction is h square by 2 times length measured. If h is the difference in height between endpoints of a chain of length L, the slope correction is h square by 2 times length measured. Correction per chain length of 100 links along a slope having a rise of 1 unit in n horizontal units, is 100 by horizontal units square. Correction per chain length of 100 links along a slope having a rise of 1 unit in n horizontal units, is 100 by horizontal units square. On a diagonal scale, it is possible to read up to three dimension. On a diagonal scale, it is possible to read up to three dimension. In chain surveying tie lines are primarily provided, to avoid long offsets from chain lines. In chain surveying tie lines are primarily provided, to avoid long offsets from chain lines. Check lines in chain surveying, are essentially required, to indicate the accuracy of the survey work. Check lines in chain surveying, are essentially required, to indicate the accuracy of the survey work. A well-conditioned triangle has no angle less than 30 degree. A well-conditioned triangle has no angle less than 30 degree. If smallest, division of a vernier is longer than the smallest division of its primary scale, its retrograde vernier. 
If smallest division of a vernier is longer than the smallest division of its primary scale, it's retrograde vernier. The least count of a vernier scale is value of one division of the primary scale divided by total number of division of vernier scale. The least count of a vernier scale is value of one division of the primary scale divided by total number of division of vernier scale. Thank you so much for viewing this video. For more video on civil engineering subscribe my channel. Civil Engineering Basics